my grandmother, who only went back to Vietnam to put fresh flowers on graves. My grandmother, who knew hunger best divided between 10 siblings. When I say hunger, I mean the lack of more. When I complain about growing up lonely as an only child, I'm also complaining about a full stomach and a mouth that has stopped watering. My grandmother had six brothers and four sisters. None of the girls were given names, only numbers. My grandmother's name is Bay which in America is a pretty name, but when translated back to Vietnamese, it means seven. My grandmother's name is Seven. One. My grandmother's memory went before she did. At first, it was just an orchestra of faucets hissing until morning, and then it was the smoke alarms, and then it was the night she was found wandering along the highway, and when asked where she was going, she just said home. Two. Once. When I was younger, I held a litter of newborn bunnies. I named each one. When I returned them to the cage, I watched their mother kill and eat each one because they gave off a strange scent because they smelled like me three. Towards the end, when my grandmother became no longer a woman with sun in her skin, when the hospital light stripped her of all her color, when she became no longer a woman that sang lullabies that harmonized to explosions, instead had her breath coiled into a cacophony of tubes, she kept on calling out for home. Home. I still don't know which home she meant. For. The last time I went to Vietnam, I was surprised that the ground did not open and swallow me whole. I know I am lucky enough to have been loved by her, even though I smell nothing like gunpowder five. Uh, because I fled a house that was not on fire, I belong nowhere near the ocean. Because I know nothing of war, I will not use metaphors that do not belong to me. My parents' divorce is not a war. My grief is not a war. My depression does not shrapnel. My depression does not flatten an entire village. My sadness is not a war. War is war six. Somewhere not here, there is a house that does not look like a body. Somewhere not here, my grandmother recognizes my scent as not her own and then gouges out my eyes seven. I was born once. I was held and given a name once, and how many times have I wished for something easier? Something that didn't dirty a white mouth, and how many times have I looked for my name in gift shop keychains and walked away blank or, up, or upset or walked away wearing someone else's face? <laughs>